Well, there's so much that we don't know. Yeah. And, and for those people who well, I guess are sitting like yourself, if you get an opportunity, that's that. That's what's important. Do I need this? Yes, we need this. Just speak. Okay. Good afternoon, all you good people. Good afternoon. We are ready to get started now since we got the last party participant who just walked in and so he's here to help us party today. <laughs> but I just want to say thank you to all of you for coming out today to help us celebrate the ribbon cutting for our new facility here. It's a family medicine and integrative care uh, for persons in Merrillville and surrounding areas. And so we just look forward to being here and, in be and being in Merrillville because, you know, this is kind of our home too. We see a lot of patients and all from Merrillville, lots of our staff and all work in Merrillville. And so we're just happy to be here and happy to have all of you here celebrating this wonderful occasion with us. And many of you might already know that Edgewater is gearing up for our 50 year anniversary, 50th year celebration. A lot of that activity will occur in 2024. And so this is an opportune time to begin to work towards our 50 year celebration because this is a great occasion for all of us. So we are very thrilled about that. I'm gonna take one minute to introduce the people who will be speaking today. And uh, when I'm done, I'll just start calling them up. But first, I wanna introduce you to our board chair, he is Lupe Baltiero. He's a longtime board member for Edgewater, and uh, he's currently actually, like I said, serving as our board chair. Some of you may know him from his work at Ivy Tech. He was the chancellor there once. Uh, president, I think they call chancellor. him. There. Chancellor. Okay, we're getting there. Okay, same thing, just a university. <laughs> and currently, he's the community development educator for the Purdue Extension in Lake County. So we want to thank you for being here, Lupe. And next we have Dr. Chidu Njakubi. And Dr. Njakubi actually will be our primary physician at this location. So, and he's, many of you probably already know him. He's also been a long time serving Gary. So we'll let him tell you how long when he gets up here. But he's been serving Gary, Merrillville, the whole entire Lake County region, and people from Illinois. So he's been doing a lot of work here. So he is for sure a community advocate. And we're excited to invite and to just welcome him into our Edgewater fold. We just yeah. love having him. And you're gonna hear a lot from him. So he'll talk to you about what some of the things he has planned, but you're gonna hear a lot from him over the next few weeks. Um, also, we have Miss Deanna Patina, and she's the president and CEO for the Crossword Roads Regional Chamber. Um, and on a special note, we'd like to thank you for coming out and the chamber for coming out and doing this ribbon cutting for us. But we also want to thank you for what we know what we know you're going to do in terms of promoting our Saturday activity, our grand opening celebration that's going to be held right out here across the street. And we're going to have things going on inside and you'll hear more about that soon. Some of that is we're going to have lots of activities for kids, lots of activities for adults. We're going to be doing blood pressure, glucose, and BMI, BMI. BMI screening. So we're going to be doing all that. We're also going to have some mini workshops that are going to go on that Dr. Njakubi is going to be providing for us. We're going to have things for the kids, a bouncy house, raffles, prizes, a trunk or treat. So it's going to be a big event. Hopefully we'll get the community to come out and help celebrate with us. And then they'll get an opportunity to learn more about Edgewater and what we do in the community. And finally, we're so pleased to welcome Senator Attorney Lonnie Randolph, who has joined us. Lonnie is also a longtime Edgewater board member, and um, he's also, of course, representing uh, East Chicago, lots of those other areas in terms of uh, where do you work, represent? You represent us well. <laughs> what other areas do you represent? Monster, East Chicago, yeah. Hammond. I know it was a yeah. broad spectrum, but he's been around for a long time, and he is one of. Edgewater's real ambassadors. He goes downstate and he advocates for us on a number of occasions and on a number of issues. And so we're very happy to have him. And so I'm going to take this moment because I want to acknowledge all the elected officials who are here. I know that Councilman Hardaway is here, Second Ward. Yep. That's where we are right here. <laughs> so welcome. I don't know if there are any other elected or appointed officials who are here that. Oh, here. Well, you know, I can't forget him. He's <laughs> Another board member. 
<laughs> Bernie Carter, he is a board member for us. And then we have a lot of board members here. So we have Larry Brewer, Carol Cody, Deanna Prince. Who else do we have here? And, drums in the background. Oh, drums in the drum. back. Hi, mm -hmm. drum back there, drummy zell. So those are some of our Edgewater board members representing the wonderful organization and the wonderful work that we do. And we have so many friends here and so many family members, but also the Edgewater staff. Lots of them are kind of standing around, and lots of them are responsible for putting this event together. And so we're happy for them. Raise your hand, staff <laughs> members, family members. <laughs> so we're just happy to have them because we couldn't really do this without all the work that they put in to make it happen. So I just want to thank them for doing that. And we just thank you, all of you, for your time, the talent that you've donated to us over the years and today. So we want to thank you for all of that. and. Um, as I mentioned, for those of you who we just had another board member walk in, that's Colleen Cody. And so I just do want to acknowledge the many, as I said, the many Edgewater employees are here. But I also want you to know, as I said, that we're very thrilled to be here in Merrillville. And this is a perfect place for us because of all of the work we do and the partnership with Dr. Njakubi, bringing him on staff. He gives us an opportunity to really practice what we preach whole person care because if you're not healthy in one aspect of your life whether whether it's your mental health or your physical health then you're not healthy and so our goal is to improve the quality of life for all the people that we serve and so we're very happy to have him join us and very happy to be here in Merrillville and we hope that we will bring wonderful things to Merrillville and continue to grow and so I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to ask Lupe to come up and give us a few words. <laughs> We'll see how much I can stick to the script today. Thank you. <laughs> Good afternoon, and thank you all for being here. Uh, we're very happy to see you here. Very honored to have you with us today for this momentous occasion. Uh, my name is Lupe Valtier, and I am the Community Development Educator with Purdue Extension here in Lake County. And I do have the honor of serving currently as chair for the Edgewater's uh, Board of Directors. And I would like to also thank our fellow um, board members who are here in attendance today, as well as the elected officials who are also helping us to celebrate this great affair. I have been on the board for the past three years. Doesn't seem as long. It seems like I just started yesterday with everything that we're learning, but it's great to see the opportunities that are coming along, the incredible growth that we are also proud of with Edgewater Health Systems and the um, starting, I remember, I remember as a little kid growing up when Edgewater was first starting off as a behavioral health facility and the services that were offered there and to see where it is today as it has grown and expanded with family medicine care and opening the Lake uh, Cedar Lake Clinic this past uh, 2021. I think it was rain on that day as well, so we have to do something with that correlation. Uh, but the Cedar Lake Clinic does have the emphasis on family medicine and women's health. And we're seeing great progress in that particular area. And now this new expansion and enterprise into the Miracle community. I really am proud and honored to have been able to play a role in the organization. And as Dr. John, uh, Hughes, Johnson, Dr. Johnson. We forgive you. As, as she indicated, our 50 years of growth that we've been able to do in the, and the give back that has occurred with the community as well. So we are very proud and thrilled to be offering family medicine and integrative medicine into this new community. And so on that note, I will stop and ask Dr. Shadu and Jakubi. I got the right yes, yes, yes. <laughs> to come forward to share a few words with us. I know you're applauding me being able to say that rather than the doctor, because you'll applaud him in a minute. But doctor, I would like for you, you just share with me the meaning of your name, so definitely please yeah. share that with the rest of the group as well, because we may not all be as informed. Oh, so right. thank you very much, and thank you all for taking part today. <laughs> well, uh, thank you all for being here today to help us uh, get started uh, in the integrating this practice into Edgewater. It's been an honor uh, to be part of uh, Edgewater and it's a very, very enterprising type of uh, activity that Dr. Johnson was able to put together by you know, inviting us to join Edgewater. Um, I've been a family physician for many years. I started out in 1985. 
uh, in uh, Gary, Indiana, then East Chicago, then uh, Dr. Robert and I teamed up together in 3535 Broadway. Then I ventured into integrative medicine. And that wasn't one of the things that Dr. Obara was particularly excited about because a lot of my patients will come with bags of supplements and they wonder, what the heck is this? <laughs> but in time, you know, uh, people began to appreciate integrative medicine. And what integrative medicine is, is really empowering the individual to take care of themselves by using simple stuff, fresh air, water, sunshine, food, exercise to help them with their, their health issues and that includes mental health and one of the things I would like us to do with Edgewater and we're going to really encourage people to do is to look at the root cause of health issues including mental health. You can check somebody's urine and find out that they are missing nutrients vitamin B3 just simple vitamin B3 can use it to turn a whole lot of stuff around vitamin C, uh, you know, just having somebody go out in the sun and get vitamin D can use it to turn things around so you don't have to use medicine. So it's a great opportunity to uh, be part of Edgewater to practice this kind of medicine in addition to family practice because medicine is actually going through a lot of transformation and it should go even more to where we are headed or where we are at, which is empowering the patient and us partnering with the patient to take care of themselves because we can't do it for them. The patient has to do it for themselves and this is a great opportunity in uh, Edgewater. And so uh, on Saturday, we're going to be doing an open house here and we're going to be doing several things. One of the things we'll be doing is to teach you how to use your breath to control your mood, to control your energy, then teach you how to do meditation, to integrate and center yourself. And at the end, we're gonna summarize by giving you opportunity to learn the 10 mindsets of happy and healthy people. How do you use sleep to heal yourself? How do you use sunshine to heal yourself? How do you use water to heal yourself? How do you work so you are not a prostitute? You know what a prostitute is? <laughs> Some kind. <laughs> a prostitute is working for money. Somebody in love is doing it from your heart. So when you do that with your work, it's healing for you. And it's not stressful. So you work to serve. <laughs> not to prostitute your profession. And so that becomes less stressful. It sounds gross, but it's true. <laughs> so if you learn to work from your heart, then you can use it to heal yourself. With that, I invite you to come on Saturday and hear the rest of that story. <laughs> oh, okay. So I was telling Mr. Evert here is that she asked me what my name was. I said, Chiedu in Jikube. Mm -hmm. And I told him, every time you say that, you are praying. Mm -hmm. Chiedu means the Lord is my shepherd. Mm -hmm. And in Jikube means my hope is in God. Mm -hmm. And when I want to teach, I say, my, the Lord is my shepherd, I can run a red light. No, I want to <laughs> <laughs> Both of you, Lupe and Dr. Chikubi, yeah. thank you so much for that. But now, I'd like to invite up Deanna Patina. Did I say that right? Yeah. yeah. Deanna Patina from the Miraville Chamber of Commerce to give us a few words as well. Yeah, it's mm -hmm. challenging. Yes. My last name is Pene, people want to put an A on my first yeah. name, but <laughs> as Dr. Johnson said, I'm Deanne Patina. I am the President and CEO of Crossroads Chamber. We are Northwest Indiana's Chamber, connecting businesses. We are super excited to be here today to support the vision of this of Edgewater 
on behalf of our board of directors and our staff and our ambassadors we say congratulations dr johnson to you and your team and your staff and your board and we do wish you much success as you move forward with this great opportunity here for our community we are so excited that you chose our community to be a part of and we wish you all success and we really would like you to lean on the chamber of commerce because we're here to support you and be an extension to your team thank you Randolph, I'll let you like to come up and offer <laughs> 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 Thank you, thank you, Ms. Johnson. Um, whenever occasions like this happen, you kind of get caught up. And when you get caught up, you start feeling good and you want to start talking how you really feel about different things. But uh, if I do that, then I'm going to get beat talked about, put down, so I'm going to stick to the script. I'm be <laughs> <laughs> and this is what the script is. And, and, I, and, and the script is right on point two. Uh, I thank Dr. Johnson for including me in this special event, this special day. And it's wonderful to see Edgewater, the growth throughout the entire area, entire region. I mean, it benefits not just the immediate city in terms of Gary and Maryville, but the whole region. And when I would talk about the region, I'm referring to the entire county as well. Um, not only is the opening of the Maryville Clinic a marvelous opportunity for Edgewater, but the access to the excellent, compassionate health care that this clinic will provide for families in the Maryville community and the surrounding areas is fantastic. Uh, on this special day, like today, it's very important for all of us to recognize the good health, strong families, and growing economy of the background backbone of every community and Maryville is no exception and so uh, they are exciting a shining example of example in terms of how it should be involved in community I see my my good friend councilman back there for a long time and everything and I'm glad to see my, my former colleague in the back, Mr. Michael Griffith, everybody knows Mike, and uh, if not, you'll give it to Norm because Mike has been around for a long time. Matter of fact, you're gonna be involved with, uh, with Purdue, is it IU? I'm teaching at Purdue, but I'm the interim town manager of Maryville, and I'm representing them here today to welcome Edgewater. Fantastic, so so Maryville has a double whammy today. Not only is Edgewater, but you got Mike. Whammy's the word. But I'm pleased then. Johnson, show us yours. Uh, you won't be kicking me today. Oh, <laughs> not today, not today. Um, I do want to acknowledge Tracy Williams, who just came in. She is a board member of Edgewater from Hinton and Williams Funeral Home in East Chicago. I want to say about Mike Griffin, I've known him since we both got started in our careers. Like, so I won't say how many years ago that was, but we've known each other for a very long time, and I'm so pleased to see you here. And our councilman, your name? Sorry, not oh. me. Oh, oh not you. That, okay, I thought we had another one, but I know we have Councilman Hardaway here. So I just want to say thank you again to all of you. And, well, shall we go cut the ribbon? Yeah. All right, let's go. Not raining. <laughs>